Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. Please forgive me because my voice is a little worse. I'm getting over a cold. But today I just thought I'd uh, film a video for you all. Aside from the fact that I have some really exciting things coming up for you all. I know you're going to love that. I thought I would dedicate this video to my cosmetologist, which, aka hairdressers, aka beauticians, aka hair stylists, aka hair doctors, or anybody in the beauty field, or any field of that matter, where you're working for yourself, or the goal is to build customers or clients for yourself. Pretty much service, any type of service industry, where you're individually working independently, and you have to build up your own customer base. But mainly I'm going in for clients, for cosmetologists or barbers, nail technicians, whatever the case may be. Now, with that all being said, one thing that I have to say, especially in this day and age, when I started my career as a cosmetologist, social media was not anything like it is now. Because I graduated in 2005. So it was over uh, the beginning of 2005. So it's been over 10 years for me, almost. Well, it hit over 10 years going on 11, actually. And it was totally different, a different vibe with being a clientele. And one thing I would tell you, for those of you who are not big on, uh, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Periscope, or whatever the case may be, you can at least, if you can't get all of them, at least get you two or three of those because they are so, so valuable, especially when you're working for yourself. I mean, it's free advertisement, first off. They have, there's a, there are different forms. You can actually pay for some of them, like on Facebook, uh, for them to give you more exposure, but also a, a very important thing is social media and promoting yourself. Promoting yourself is very easy this day and age with the technology and everybody has technology at their fingertips. Everyone has a smartphone or a tablet or a computer in their home for the most part. A large percent of people. So it's, and it's, those social media networks are free advertising. So please, if you don't take advantage of that now, I would highly recommend that because that actually is very, very key in building clientele. Now, when I started off as a new hairstylist, fresh out of beauty school, things were different. There was, we had put up flyers, go around passing our cards. And not to say that those things are not still would work because those work as well. But you still be, are able to reach a broader audience as well with social media. Take pictures of your work. Even if you don't have a clientele, when you're fresh out of beauty school, you're a new hairstylist. You have your mannequins, your viola, or whatever, whatever the case may be that they provide you with in school. Practice those hairstyles. Learn new techniques. Take what you're learning from your books and what they're teaching you at school. And, and if you see a hairstyle that you like, try to put your, surround yourself around people who are doing those things. You want to work in a salon environment where there's people that are experienced because you can learn off of those people. And always... Always document your work. And when I say document your work, I mean you want to take photographs, build a portfolio. And I don't mean you have to go out and get some expensive camera. Your cell phone camera usually does the trick. And, you know, of course, pretty much the more you invest in your camera, your cell phone, the better the camera will be. Um, I take all of my hair photos that I've taken and posted on my social media. I've been with, used more my iPhone. So, that's a very useful thing that you can use. Your iPhone is very useful. Android, it doesn't, really doesn't matter. You use what you have. Stop with what you have. You got to crawl before you walk. So if you don't have one of those things, just a camera phone in general, some some bomb lighting, and you're good to go. And I'm not being professional lighting or anything of that nature, but just getting you some good light, and you'll be fine. And post those pictures on social media. I, I do it all the time. Even though I've been the cosmetologist for over 10 years, it's still mandatory for me to always promote myself. Just like, this is a business, like you're a business owner. You don't have to be a salon owner yet. You're a business owner if you're an independent contractor. 
And it's always best because when you have your own clientele, they will travel with you. If you relocate and things like that, I wouldn't recommend you bouncing everywhere, being a, as we say in the cosmetology world, a shop hopper. But staying put is good. Find a good place with a good location that has that's fluid, fluent on walk-ins and a salon that's supportive with helping you build and bringing in customers is very important as well. But at the same time, networking yourself. And when you're new out of school, there may be things that you don't know how to do yet, things that um, you have not, not necessarily perfected or mastered yet with certain hairstyles, but you want to try them, you want to know them, you want to maybe use them on uh, people, you want to learn these things. It's important. Your mannequin is going to always be important. And also, when you do, whenever you do get those clients, you always want to be on the top of your game. You want to always be professional, practice excellent people skills. You want to be nice. You want to be pleasant. And you want to be about business. Now, I can elaborate in some other videos on what I mean by that. But the way you carry yourself, you want to go to work looking nice. And looking welcoming and everything and be welcoming and firm handshake is excellent those are things that will help you build a clientele being nice being attentive to your customer making sure that you both have a clear understanding on what it is they want not being insulting even if they say something that may not be something that's best for them at the time or ever finding the right words to say to be generous and be kind and still be able to convey your point to them is very important. Those are some things you need to take in consideration. And as far as the social media thing, I have to go back to that because that is so very important. I still do it myself. And also, another thing, like I said, well, and also another thing, you want to always do, honey. Baby, please, 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 please. I would say pricing is important. When you're fresh out of school, I mean, of course, you have cosmetologists that's able to charge up upwards in their prices based on their skills and experience over the years and what have you, or location or demographic, all that stuff does make a difference. But as a person that's fresh out of school, I can tell you, for example, um, if you look at a few of my uh, previous videos from a year ago, I did a sister tag with my baby sister. She's a new cosmetologist. She graduated the day before her birthday, actually, in August this year. She's a stylist in my salon, and she's doing excellent. She's killing it with building her clientele. And sitting around and waiting for the salon to do everything is fine if you want to get paid a uh, structured paycheck and whatever but to me the meat and potatoes in this industry really really is if you have James and Reginald off on your own the meat and potatoes really is going out there and working and building your own clientele but my sister she's doing excellent I run a, a booth for the structure salon she's been doing excellent she actually has promotions going on for the holidays and is bringing in clientele really well and that's been working for her Actually, it's been working. There's nothing wrong with doing a special sometime. Now, it, but I said, like I said, as I said, it all depends on the type of clientele you want to attract, your demographics, and things of that nature. Now, we live in a major city. We live in Chicago. In major cities, it seems to be easier to build up a clientele. But even if you're in a smaller city, social media is excellent because people will actually travel from wherever they are. I mean, flying from out of town if they like your work. Trust me, I've had it happen, and it can happen for you. But get yourself out there on social media. Take those pictures. If you want to do some promotions here and there, that's perfectly fine. Uh, another thing that works really well is referral programs. Even if it's just something simple as having your business cards, and always make sure that you have business cards. That is so very important. You have no idea. Always get you some business cards. Even if you don't have money like that, Vista Print is, uh, is one of the names that come to mind right off the bat that you can get your, yourself some cards made. And pass those babies out. When you do get someone in your chair, don't just give them one card. Give them three cards. 
give them one for them, of course, so that they can always get back in touch with you. And also give them two more to refer back, refer someone else and tell them, hey, if these two cards make it back to me and they give me your name, and also always take the information down, always take your client's information down. When they first sit in your chair, you want their number, email address, first and last name. That's so important. You want to get that information so that you can always be in contact, you know, and give them refer referral programs. And this is speaking to my new stylist or anybody who's just trying to build clientele that don't really know how. And this stuff really does work. I'm telling you from experience. And I actually taught my sister how to build clientele. She's doing well. Give those the two other cards. Tell them, okay, you know, if you these two cards make it back to me, X, Y, Z, they tell me that you referred me, then you will get some type of reward for referring me to them. And also, you might want to give them a little incentive for being first-time customers or anything like that. And just let it just be clear that it's a special, so you don't have to trip about whether or not, you know, you got to keep your prices low because you don't have to. Like I said, it's based on a whole conglomerate of other things. So just keep that in mind. And I know this video is getting a little long, a little running over, so I'm not going to be too long. I'll wrap it up. If you have any more questions, I recommend that you look down below in the left in the comment section. And if you have any more questions, videos you would like me to make on cosmetology, feel free to let me know because I'm one of those people. I've been in the industry for long enough, and I feel like I'm at the place where I can actually be an asset and help other people because it's enough money out here for all of us. But I'm telling you, there that's like pretty much some very key pointers in building a clientele, and it really does work. And I'm telling you from experience, somebody had to tell me, and now I'm telling you all because sharing the wealth is very important, and I love you guys. And if you like this video, in all my other videos, please subscribe. Down below in my lap, click that red button. And, you know, I'll talk to you all later because I'm getting tired. I'm about to get ready to hang it up. But like I said, any questions you want to ask, feel free. And I'll talk to you all later. Dad, mm. that babies. Smoochie, boochie, poo-poo. <laughs> poo-poo.